Today you have to try Betsy Ann American Chocolate. Betsy! Betsy Ann. I'm Kelly Ann. You're Betsy Ann. We're gonna have chocolate. And I'm John. <laughs> What's your experience with American chocolate? Ups and downs, very roller coaster. I've yeah. had some nice ones, I've had more bad ones. And that's because there's something in American chocolate that is made to keep it fresh when in transport, but as a result, it tastes really bad to us. Is that it's, what it is? Because we're not used to it. Like our chocolate, I feel like it's a little bit more thicker, but I feel like American chocolate tastes a little bit more thinner and milkier. Right. Now, if, if we taste this, and you were like, oh my God, then you'll understand. Hi Tri Channel, I lived in England for four years and unlike most Americans, they too thought that Hertie's chocolate tasted like vomit. A case of different taste buds, I suppose. So enclosed is a sampling of the high-end American Betsy Ann chocolates. Enjoy, at least I hope. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, Thanks Gary. Ooh, oh, that's like real fancy. I was gonna say, look at this oh. packaging. Go white and gold is such a gorgeous combo. I was thinking Betsy Ann chocolate is probably the packet made out of paper that you whip it out. That's, I got a golden ticket. Yeah! It looks like you pay a lot of money for it. Because it looks like it's gold, you know? The smell of it, it smells rich. Does it? It smells rich, it smells sweet. Mm, creamy? It smells like it will taste nice. Here we go. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> okay. It's better that I've had from America before. Do you know when I could go to fancy restaurants and they give you a chocolate sweet at the side with your tea? Mm. That's that chocolate. Yeah. Oh, that's You're like, really nice. I like this chocolate. It's really nice and it doesn't taste like sick. Yeah, it's definitely better than I expected. It's creamier than most American chocolate bars that I've had. Well, wow. So compared to like a Hershey's. It's way smoother. It's like what you were saying, it's milkier. Yeah, milkier. It is really, really nice though. It's the best American chocolate I've ever had. Hands down. Yeah, I will second that. It's the best American chocolate I've ever had as well. I love, I love how it's like Betty Ann's chocolates. Like it's, it's her bar. Imagine like mm. the Grania bar. Like, <laughs> I'm like trying to think what would be in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> loaded with vodka. I hope we get white chocolate. That would be nice. Oh, Quite the opposite, the complete opposite way of what I wanted. Dark, dark, dark chocolate. Oh, I love that it's silver for dark chocolate. Do you not like dark chocolate? I hate it. Oh. It's granny chocolate. It's but granny chocolate. I've nothing against granny chocolate because granny mm. chocolate is tasting nice so far. Mm. But this is dark chocolate. And I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, are you? I am, uh, but it has to be like, Correct. Like it needs to be the correct dosage of chalk. It's an acquired taste. And everybody goes, oh, this is good for you. It's way better for you. Mm -hmm. Chocolate's chocolate, so good. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't give a lot away. No, it's very mysterious. Yeah, it's a real mysterious it's chocolate. It's a mysterious granny chocolate. Well, grannies are mysterious, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, mysterious <laughs> granny. I, I wanna, wanna get, get close to you. Give we go. Yeah. Cheers. Proper. Oi, cheers. <laughs> just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not great. And it's sour? That's so not that's not even dark chocolate like. That's sour. It's like gone off milk. Oh well, now that you said it, sorry. It kinda, yeah, yeah, now that you said it, it's gone in my head now. That was quite disappointing. Do you think? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I was actually thinking I kinda enjoy it. For your dark chocolate? Yeah. It's alright, like. As dark chocolate goes. It's really rich. Mm. I always find that about dark chocolate in any way, you can never eat a lot of squares of it. You can either have like one or two squares and then that's it. Yeah. It's just so strong and so rich, you know? It does something to you. Dark chocolate. Like, I love dark chocolate, I always have. And that is what it used to taste like to me as a kid. Whenever I would have dark chocolate, I'd be like, oh, it, just, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't taste like chocolate. It tastes sour and bitter, gross, don't like it. But I'm an adult now, so I should like this, but it's just, it's, there's no joy to be had here. Right, the first one? No. The first one's way better. <laughs> Compare it, I won't. <laughs> I will not, sir. I will not do such a thing. Do not insult the gold. <laughs> but the milk chocolate, on the other hand, you would eat the whole bar in one sitting mm -hmm. with a big giant cup of tea and you'd never look back. Ooh, oh. This has been me now. This is a bit of embossing going on here. I like that. There's gonna be a bit of texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like something that like was dug up. That's what I was and thinking. And in a museum. Yeah. And I was just like, this looks like buried treasure. 
And then I'm like, no, it's just because. See, if I was a kid and like my yeah. mom had, I'd be like, we must protect us at all costs. Yeah. Like I find it hard to read on a normal day with the black against the white, mm -hmm. with the the gold against the gold. Like that's <laughs> you, a lot. You literally haven't got a clue what it says. Yeah. Oh, it does have what it says on the side. Crisp de rice. You know, that's a fancy way of saying rice krispies. <laughs> Isn't it? It's a rice krispie bar. It's a bleeding rice krispie bun, like just in bar form. Bit of a snapper to it. I'm glad if that brought you so much joy. Me <laughs> hacking me teeth off. This is bougie chocolate. I'm <laughs> tooth gone. Ah! <laughs> I'm not sure I like it. It's like an aftertaste, isn't it? Like, this is supposed to be the milk chocolate with a bit of rice crispy in it, but it doesn't taste like the milk chocolate. There's a there is a kind of sicky taste off this at the end. I feel quite sick after that. <laughs> Can you not, like, the, the taste of the rice is like pepper? No, it does taste pe pepper. No, bitter. I'm getting a weird kind of a smoky. Uh, I don't know what it is. Like, what is in this? That's give, it's giving me something, I just don't know what. It's not nice, they need to take that no. out. Like, the milk chocolate by itself was so perfect, you didn't really need to, like, do anything with that. No, why did she think this was going to be a good combination or a good idea? Well, or... we have loads of things with, there's loads of bars with rice in it. That's not an original concept. Yeah, but, like, I mean, Use better rice. When would you eat a bar like this stuff? Yeah, because I, I wonder if, it, if, it, if it, is it dunkable in tea or would the rice way free bits just flake everywhere? I'd say you put it in and you just hear all that. Yeah. Oh, do you remember them? She got it so right for so long and then she just went really far downhill with this food. Yay. Okay. Oh, the oh. leaves. Oh, it's like autumn. Oh. Oh, wow. <gasps> Ali Ann hasn't seen my magic trick that I show everyone when I get two of something. Is Are you ready? Do you juggle? No, we've got two sweets, right? I want you to hold the green one. Is that the green one? Do I, oh, I, ah, what do I do? Hello. Do it again! Oh, that one <laughs> How does he do it? I show everybody does. <laughs> Sean, Sean's seen it like nine times. <laughs> He's Just as good every time. Basically what we had, but just in the shape of the leaf. I do mm. really like this packaging. I'm down with this. I think this is really cute. If you're doing like an autumn party, you could put it all on the table and be a nice little table kind of yeah. decoration. I like, I do like the way it's kind of textured. Yeah, yeah. it is cute. The leaf. I, I mean, I do think these are my favorite one because they're small. And yeah, like you just have the one you're done. And it's not as like thick as well mm -hmm. compared to the bar. The bar was like blocky. Do you know what I yeah. mean? This is like a nice little nibble. I'm kind of glad we got to taste yeah. the chocolate on its own. Yeah. Was the first one normal? The first yeah. one was normal. Yeah. yeah. I'd prefer to buy this over the first chocolate bar mm -hmm. because you can kind of just eat as you please. Do you know what I mean? Like you just grab a few yeah. for the car, be like, all right, I'm only gonna have three of them, and then go off on your journey like. But it still has that kind of sickening taste that I associate with yeah. American chocolate. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I just know all the comments are going to be like, oh, you don't know nothing. They're not all yeah. like that. I'm like, I'm sorry, but like, this is what this tastes like to us. Yeah, sorry. They, we're not used to it at all. Do you like the chocolate you get in Avon Calders? Pallian, nail on the head. That is exactly what this Isn't is. Isn't it? A free sweet in the Avon Calders. That's, That's exactly, exactly what it tastes like. Yeah. I always feel like I don't like American chocolate. And then we do these shoots and my mind is always changed. Yeah. Because I love it. It is lovely. It yeah. is really nice. There's no way to do it, right? Oh! Oh! Yay! Yay! Two I times a charm! Woo! Woo! Now that you've had four <laughs> varieties of Betsy Ann chocolates, what do you think overall? I really wanted to love Betsy Ann, because that sounds like such a lovely name from a lovely lady, and I'm sure she is. However, <laughs> however, <laughs> her chocolates are not. Then they don't have the quality that Betsy Ann ensues. Do you think uh, Betsy Ann has made American chocolate look better in your eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Hundred percent. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Because like as like, at the start of this video, I was like, I have tried American chocolate before, but I can't remember. I'll remember Betsy Ann chocolate. Completely. The milk chocolate, I would recommend that, and I would get the bag of leaves yeah. for a present. It's great. That's yeah, really cool. it's a yeah. really nice little present. Yeah. It's probably one of the best American chocolates I've ever had. Definitely. The milk chocolate is definitely mm -hmm. one of the best ones I've ever tried on this channel, for yes. sure. Thank you for watching this episode. And subscribe to <laughs> like the <laughs> button. You're just saying you're a set. Thanks very much. Like, subscribe, press the bell, and you get all notifications. You can watch a tiny loads more chocolates.